Hello and welcome back to this uh, Let's Play of uh, Rome Total War, the Skippy Eye Campaign, doing the No Marian Reform Recruitment Challenge. In our last episode, we uh, fought in the north and took a couple of settlements here and also took Lepsis Magna. We're going to continue our campaign. I think in this episode, we're going to try to take the fight over to Greece and uh, try to slow down the Broody Eyes expansion. Probably push out against Dacia as well and continue to fight against Dacia. I'm going to send out some tr more troops out of uh, Thapsis over here. We're going to get them on the ship. We're going to send them over here into Syracuse to get retrained. I'm going to send this Equites up north to help out with the Dacia campaign. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Looks like we've got a new leader, Marcellus Scipio. He's over here in our capital. He's got a tutor. He's in the pink, plus two hit points and a military genius. Wow, what a good commander. That is awesome. Let's see if I can give him, let's give him some units over, some uh, retinue. Let's give him the uh, drill master and that's it for now. Uh, this will give him an extra bonus to movement points. Yeah, pretty fantastic leader. Wow, Sina just gave me a thousand denarii for what? I don't know. Did I just complete a mission? I think I didn't. Um, wow, I got another uh, office. Now I've got three offices. We got consul. Quintus is a consul now. Really cool. Really cool. We've got... Quintus Scipio is the consul, and then we've got Julianus is an Adal, and Gaius is a questor. Pretty nice getting those offices. All right, looks like this mission to blockade Thurman was canceled, probably because the Broody Eye took it. Yeah, so we need to get moving on our invasion of Greece before the Broody Eye get there. So I need to hurry up on that. So I'm going to get my new military genius and get him on a ship headed to Greece as soon as possible. I do want to uh, try to get some armies from here. Wondering, can he be retrained? I don't have a barracks blacksmith here. Let's uh, continue to build up troops. I kind of need some archers, so I'll get some from Capua. Let's get our two Velites, send them out into Syracuse. Send in this ar army over here. We can't leave the boat. I'm going to send this fleet out south to pick up these troops for our invasion of Greece. I'm going to have my general build some uh, watchtowers. See how far we can get. I think here is good. Just give us some warning if we see an army marching up. And we're going to send this guy out to... Now I can do this in one turn now. So I'm just going to go over here and uh, get Segestica to grow. So we'll disband him. And here we are. Wow, that's nice. And we got another one here. Let's uh, disband. Okay, we're at 1441. Getting closer. So I'm going to move this army out. I'm going to leave just the uh, 75 Hastadis here. And have them march up here and sit on this bridge. To protect against this Dacian army up here. But first, I'm going to go ahead and hire some Illyrian mercenaries. Oh wow, look at that. We've got some more Illyrian mercenaries. Nice. I don't think I'm going to get these Bastarni mercenaries. They're just way too expensive. Even though their upkeep cost isn't that huge. But their initial cost, 1700 Wow. I think this army should be able to hold against this massive Dacian army up here. Because we've got the bridge. I think we'll be fine over here. Let's get our reinforcements moving. I'm going to have these guys move up but hide in the woods. Because I don't want to be attacked by this uh, Dacian army. And we'll just see what they do. 
So before I end my turn, I think I'm going to go over here in Masana. Instead of getting Hastati, I'm going to get a spy uh, as part of my invasion of Greece or Kaidonia over here. I'm also going to go, and instead of getting Equites in Syracuse, I'm going to get a ship uh, in case we run into pirates or something like that. So we have a better, better navy as we send our troops out east. Okay, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. We'll see what Dacia does. They'll probably attack me. Yeah, here we go. Look at them. 3,000 men. Um, a lot of infantry. A lot of uh, Illyrian mercenaries. And some Falksmen. Some heavy cav. This is going to be a tough battle. And plus, they got the two generals' bodyguards. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's start the battle. I'm going to get my Hastadis up on each corner just to protect the sides. And then get my Illyrians to back them up. Let's go. And I think I'm going to get some of my Illyrians to just hold their fire uh, until their cavalry comes. And get my cavalry to back them up so nobody gets scared. Alright, we got Warband over here. Looks like they're shaken. And this warband over here, uh, they got their backs turned. I don't know what they're doing. They look like they're shaking as well. We're getting lots of missiles off. We got some heavy cav coming forward. They're all kind of jammed up here. Once these guys exhaust their missiles, I'm going to get them to move forward a little bit like this. Just to help out with our Hastadis. Same with this group. Protect their flanks. These guys are wavering. They haven't routed yet. So we've lost 2%, killed 12%. I want their cavalry to come a little bit closer before I start firing at will. Right now it's just mostly warband. There's a couple of cavalry that made it through. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start firing Will right now. Hopefully, we can get some of these guys to start routing. Once we get the javelins thrown. We've killed 18%, lost 6%. Okay, we got a unit routing. Hopefully, we'll get more. Those are barbarian mercenaries. Okay, their warlord is coming up front. Uh, yeah, they got a bunch of guys routing now. Let's move these guys up closer. If we can get their heavy cav, let's uh, start. Uh, Targeting their heavy cavalry. We can throw some javelins at them. I'm going to get my uh, Illyrians from the sides over here to charge in. No, we're going to wait. We got their heavy cav over here. Let's see if we can kill one of their generals. If we get their generals to route. We've got a lot of units routed already. It should kind of help us. Alright, let's get our Illyrians to charge in. Let's get our infantry to charge in. And our cavalry. And I want to make sure... Who are these guys? Where are they going? 
to go charge in there. Okay. General's uh, routing. Let's go ahead and charge their general. If we could kill their general, it'd be a big help. We should be doing just like a massive slaughter right now. Okay, we have lost 31%. Killed 35%. Okay, there's their king. All right, we got him. It was a pretty costly battle. We lost uh, 32%. Wow, now it's just mass slaughter. Look at all the bodies just falling off, floating down. Unfortunately, a lot of skippy eye bodies as well. But we were up against just a massive army. We didn't have any archers. Alright, not bad. We lost uh, 545. We killed over 3,000. Pretty good victory. Actually, it's a heroic victory, our first of this campaign. Not bad. Well, thankfully, we can recruit some more Illyrian mercenaries. Let's go ahead and get them. And uh, we've got this army to deal with. We do have our reinforcements, but will they be able to get here in time? Imperator, prepare for battle. I'm going to withdraw and see if I can get these guys to join us. Yeah, so that should help. We've got a whole set of fresh Hastadis, and I'm guessing these guys are just going to run away too. Oh no. They're ready to fight. They got their onagers. They got a little bit of archers. Alright, let's fight this on the map. Uh, we kind of got a hill over here. I actually want to see if I can take this hill. Let's see if I can march over here. They do have onagers, so I have to be careful. Looks like they are retreating. So, I probably will not be able to catch them. But, I should be able to at least take out their onagers. And, we did lose four guys, unfortunately. But we got a lot of experience. Weird. I'm gonna move my guys over here and uh, build a watchtower. Can't quite see their city, but I doubt they have too many units up there. Let's get our spy to target these guys. Let's get our other reinforcements up here, marching out as well. Just gonna have my sky look, my spy look out around here. Got this peasant, I'm gonna go here and uh, disband him in uh, Segestica. We're getting close, I think one more peasant will get us there. So let's grab, let's build another one. So I've noticed that Carthage looks like they're gonna come after me over here in Carolus. And I really don't have much defense against them, even though it looks like a pretty weak army, just town militias and a couple of skirmishers. I'm gonna get a town watch. Should be pretty close to equivalent to their town militia, but uh, probably not enough. Um, and also at the same time, looks like Numidia is coming after me here in Carthage. So I'm gonna have to go and recruit. I think I'm gonna go, let's take a look at what they've got. Looks like it's mostly skirmishers. I'm gonna get another Equites over here in Carthage as well as Thapsis and I'm gonna send this fleet over here to Carthage and probably get another boat as well and then 
maybe I'll be able to defeat this army if they attack. I don't even know if they're going to attack. They might be just passing through, but I'm guessing they're going to attack. Because they got territory over here as well. They might be just marching their armies over here to this territory to reinforce it, but I don't think so. I think they're probably going to attack me. So, uh, in fact, I'm going to go have my agent, have my spy move out east and see what he can see. So I'm going to send this army over here, including Marcellus. I'm going to send him over to Syracuse. And then I'm going to train up as many guys as I can here in Syracuse. I think I'm going to get another trireme as well. I want a pretty good navy. I actually have even more troops. So looking at the faction rankings, the military ranking for Numidia, it looks like they do have actually a pretty big army. So I'm not going to, I think I'm, I'm not going to send any of these troops out uh, towards Greece. I think I have enough guys here already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys back west to deal with Numidia and even finish off Carthage. But I'm going to leave some guys here in case Numidia tries to attack me from their eastern direction. So let's just do about half the guys. Alright, I'm moving my ship over here. I'm going to move my army up this direction. I'm going to send my diplomat out east, out west, to uh, talk with Numidia. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. So Greece wants to do a ceasefire. I think I'm going to accept that because uh, I believe Numidia is about to attack me. So uh, I can always attack them if I want. Let's do trade rights. Because I already have their map information, so I don't need that. Good. Yep, I was right. There's Numidia. I'm going to send their sp my spy out east to see what I can see. Okay, just a very small force. Oh, here come some more guys. I'll have to see what they have. I'm going to see what their army is. Alright, it's all skirmishers or missile units. So, I'm going to send these guys to attack them. Go ahead and fight this. All right, let's send our reinforcements up. Let's get these guys to back up. Actually, let's go charge right now. Let's take out their, oh, no, 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 no. They're backing off. I don't want to fight them all alone. Let's get them out of here. Let's just uh, have these guys walk. We're in missile range, so I got to be careful. I'm going to send these, this cavalry around and join them up with my reinforcements. It's like we haven't really even gotten on the field yet. But I should be able to move around these skirmishers. They might attack my peasants. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Oh no. They're getting my, going after my general. But I... Okay, they're not going after him. Let's, let's go like this. Let's attack him. Wanna try to surround them. Okay, we've got... We got their general. Let's get our guys lined up over here, take out the rest of them. They might rally though. We didn't kill all of them just yet. But let's go after these guys. They might be going after my peasants. Let's just charge them. Actually, let's do this kind of more uniform, like this. Alright, we got them to rout. They're just peasants. Well, we just lost 37 guys. That's not too bad. 
All right, got Quintus another command skill. Do we still have our movement points? That's kind of funny because they were involved in the battle and yet they still have this army had to march all the way over here to get involved. But yet somehow these guys still have their movement points. Because they would have had to wait for that other army to come here. But it works out for us. All right, I'm going to try to get these guys on the boat and on shore. Because I don't think we can take their navy with our one boat get this guy in Carthage let's get a ship right we need to focus on economy because our profits are in the negatives now but I, I need more ships as well so continue building up navies I want to take on Carthage and finish them off because I think there's gonna be a pain if I don't do that uh, let's get this guy over towards their capital I bet they're sending more I bet that wasn't it I bet they have another army on their way. No? Okay. They do have these armies out east. Quite a large force. And I can't really train anything over here. So over here in Lepsis Magna, I'm definitely going to get a stable so I can recruit uh, Equites. Send these guys back over here. I think I will drop off one Hastati. And send him back. Send these guys over here. Get them in Thapsis. And I can retrain them. Some of them. I don't have archers. Alright, I got another peasant here in Segestica. I'm going to disband. And go back to low taxes. 2%. We should get it next turn. We only need 9 guys. So yeah, we'll definitely get it next turn. So I'm going to sit this army on the bridge. Let's get these guys joined up. I need more Equites, I think, in this army. So I'm going to train more Equites. Actually, I could use an archer. Actually, no, I have an archer coming. I'm going to train up another Equites here. Get this guy moving up. Then we have this archer. We'll get a boat to pick him up. Yeah, look at this. We're already out of money here. But you know what? I have some extra buildings. I don't need to build in Padavium just yet. So, I'm going to go pick them up in Cap Capua. Definitely going to get a ship right here. And I think Lily Biome has a stables. Yeah. I need to save up to upgrade Segestica next turn. All right. I'm going to end turn. We'll see if uh, Carthage attacks me. All right, they did attack our navy. I don't know what happened to the uh, the Julii fleet that was here, but we're gonna get defeated. But at least we got our troops off the boat. Okay, I can upgrade Segestica, so I'm gonna do that. Get the governor's villa. It's actually pretty cheap. Go to normal taxes. Okay, looks like uh, Macedonia is planning something. All right, I was gonna march out east after I finished building these watchtowers, but it looks like I'm gonna have to deal with Macedonia. So let's get my army here, combine them together to deal with. I'm sure they're gonna attack me in Segestica. So all right, let's get these archers in the city. I'm just going to send these peasants out to get attacked and slow down Macedonia. Because um, I don't want them to reach me in one turn. and I don't know if they'll be able to move around those peasants or not. And now we'll have to go back to low taxes. I think I'm going to get an Equites in Padavium. Alright, I'm going to send out my army right now. And we've got some more guys over here. Let's take a look at this army. Yeah, pretty decent army. Uh, let's get them out here. If Macedonia attacks me, I'll go hit him maybe in Larissa. Oh, let's get our... We, I 
Forgot that I built a spy here in Misano. Let's get him to join the fleet as well. I'm gonna hire some slingers over here in, in Sardinia. And uh, then I'm going to move this army in the city and attack them from the city. So, got a slight advantage. They did hire some mercenary hoplites, so they're a little bit tougher than they were last turn. But I think we should be able to hat. Um, we have the mobility advantage. They do have a general's bodyguard, but so do we. They have a few more guys, but I think we've got the mobility advantage. We should be able to win this. Let's go fight. All right, let's begin. I don't have much of an infantry, <laughs> just peasants in town watch. Pretty pathetic. So I'm gonna have to be very careful how I deal with this battle. I'm gonna send my peasants over here. Maybe we can distract them. The key will be to hit them with my cavalry from behind. And definitely can't do a head on attack. Yeah, I don't want my peasants to rout and cause everybody else to rout. So I want to get my slingers. Slingers have good range. They have better range than skirmishers. Okay, they're sending out their skirmishers ahead. I think that was a big mistake by them. So I'm going to send my cavalry up and take on their town militia. Okay, those weren't skirmishers. They were town militia. Okay, run away, peasants, please. Do peasants, can peasants run? They should be lightly armed. Okay, they're routed. Didn't take much, did it? Let's uh, hit their slingers. I mean, their hop hoplites. At least they're providing a distraction since they're chasing after our peasants. Oh, I wasn't paying attention over here. Let's get him with my cavalry. Oh, they had a unit hiding, so might have scared my guys a little bit. Oh, our town watch is getting hit over here by their hoplites. Let's run away. Hopefully we can kill their general soon. There we go. That'll help. And we're hitting their... Hit them with our slingers from behind, so that should do a little bit more damage. Let's have our town watch run away. Let's go after the skirmishers. Alright, we'll form up over here. Alright, let's surround these uh, hoplites. Before we charge... Getting good. A little bit of damage. They're wavering. Let's go ahead and charge. Oh, rally, rally. Stay out of this general, please. All right, they routed. All right, well, we lost 209 guys. We did kill 656. I think probably most of our casualties were the peasants. Yeah, 114 peasants. Did lose a little bit of town watch and some equites, but not bad. All right, we got a command star for Publius. Not bad. Let me take a look at yes. these troops over here. I don't know if they're just sitting here or if they're gonna attack. Okay, they've got a little bit of infantry and some javelin throwers. I don't see much cavalry. They do have 12. They do have 80 generals bodyguard though. Let's see if they have any other armies. But it'll take them at least three turns to get to me. I'm gonna wait one more turn and get another equites before I attack this Numidian army. And actually, I think I'm gonna send an equites down here as well. And I'm going to send my ship up here to Carolus. 
and pick up these guys. I don't know if Carthage is going to attack me again. But I can send them back if they do. Alright, with that I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Uh, Scythia wants trade rights. Sure. Let's make a new offer. Let's see if we can get some maps from them. Nice. Alright, Macedonia did not attack. And it looks like Dacia's backed off. Let's get this army on the bridge. And if they attack, I'll be able to move over here. And we got another Equites in the city. Look at that pirate navy over here. Looks pretty powerful. So I need to get my troops ashore before they attack me. So I can go over here and move my troops out this way towards Larissa. Alright, I'm going to attack this uh, Carthaginian navy. Alright, and they backed off. Let's take out these uh, little rebel army over here. Alright, pretty easy victory. 161 kills, no losses. So I'm going to take this fleet and split them up. Move them over here with these guys. And we're going to keep an eye out for Carthage. And if they come back. I'm going to land this army over here. And get him back into Carthage. And then, um, we're going to sail off over here. Keep an eye on Carthage. They've got a couple of navies. And they've got troops over here. I think I've got the better navies right now. And I'm just going to end my turn now. Alright, looks like our navy is being attacked by those pirates. So let's go ahead and, uh... Resolve that. Looks like we lost. Even though we had much superior fleet, that's uh, it's really unfortunate. We lost a, we got a couple of ships sunk too. Wow, I can't believe that. Okay, Macedonia has declared war on Greece, which I think that's a good time for us to march into Macedonia. Yeah, let's get these guys marching out towards Larissa. And I'm pretty light on my um, missile troops, so I'm gonna go ahead and get so I can get them for 650. We'll get our fleet back here into Masana, get them repaired. Let's go ahead and fight this uh, Macedonian army over here. Get them out of our territory. So we're declaring war on Macedonia. So I don't think I need this big army to fight Macedonia. I'm going to split up my forces. I think that should be good enough. The army. Let's go fight this on the map. Alright, they've got a little bit of a hill, so we're going to try to march around them, I think. All right, here they come. They're sending out their Bastarni mercenaries, who are really tough. Let's get our Illyrians to charge out. Let's get these guys to surround them. Run double time. Okay, no time to mess around. They're coming for battle right away. They should route. Okay, we got them. Wow, we lost a lot of uh, infantry there. And here comes their... They're coming after our cavalry. Let's go. Got their general. Surrounded. Let's back off. Come on. Get away from those pikes. Get away from those pikes, please. Come on. Get away from those pikes. Let's go. Now, what's going on over here? Alright. Let's go form up. Get our 
What's going on with our Illyrians? Oh no, we got attacked. That's okay. We fought him off. Uh, how's our cavalry coming? Let's get our war dogs away. Let's get our cavalry back. Double time. All right, those guys are routed. Let's uh, go this direction. We got some militia hoplites. They've got their peltists. All right, they're routed. Let's go charge their peltists. I don't think we're going to be able to catch their peltists with our infantry. So let's call them off. Let's get our Illyrians to attack the levy pikemen. All right, well, we took 73 losses. Not great, but not too bad. Let's keep an eye on Dacia. Secrecy is a show. They got more troops going out everywhere. Looks like they might be coming back down to try to attack me over here. So what I'm going to do is send these guys back up. These peasants back into Segestica. I'm gonna get uh, Gaius move out a little bit east. We'll build another watchtower. Let's get our our Equites to go join Gaius over here. Okay, looks like their fleet with their troops have uh, come back. I'm gonna hit them with just two ships. In case they come back this way, I can hit them again. I really want to sink this one because they got the troops. Victory! All right, let's hit them with this fleet. We have 28 men left. Got them again. Okay, so Victory! looks like they went over here. Yep, let's go hit them with this fleet. Just 22 men. Man, these guys are impossible to sink. Victory! Let's hit him again. To Down to 13 men. Got him, finally. Victory! Let's get these sail. guys back to yes, be repaired. I think I'm going to get an army with uh, Publius over here. S get them to start marching out. I'm going to send some of Queso's troops over here with them and then have them march on the Numidian capital over here. We will keep Queso and the, a few Equites just in case they try something down here. We've also got this army marching over here, but I think we're pretty well protected here in uh, Lepsis Magna. We still have two turns before they reach us. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Okay, they want us to blockade Corinth. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. So I'm just going to take this army and besiege Larissa. Let's uh, go ahead and just build some ladders. They have the uh, stone walls. So it's going to be difficult siege. They have archers and their faction leader here. I'm going to send this fleet back out. I think we're going to try to complete that mission and blockade Cor Corinth. Uh, I think we'll be able to take those pirates now that we've uh, retrained our navy. And I think it'll take at least a couple of turns for uh, the broody eye to take out Corinth. Let's get our spy to keep on spying on this army. I think I should just, uh, I should be able to take them out. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll have to fight them next turn. That's fine. We should be able to deal with them. Let's get uh, Puvius over here marching out. I know they had a big army over here somewhere. And let's deal with this uh, Carthage fleet. And then we got another rebel fleet over here as well. Oh, we managed to sink them. Let's go hit this Carthage fleet as well. We got some Dacian warband over here. Let's uh, move up to defend against them. 
And it looks like another Macedonian force coming this way. Let's get Gaius on the move. Build some watchtowers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the mines in Segestica. That'll give me an extra plus 350 a turn. It's pretty expensive, but it'll pay for itself in 10 turns. And that's about all I can build this turn, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and end my turn. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and do this siege on Larissa. It's going to be a little tough because uh, stone walls and they've got archers. But we've got the numbers. Let's uh, see what we can do. All right, let's start this battle. Let's get our ladders start marching out. So I'm doing a two front battle over here. We're going to send all of our ladders forward. Take as many walls as we can. There's their archers. So they didn't put any guys up on the walls. So no archers on the walls, so that's good. We are gonna take some damage from the towers though. Oh, now they're moving their archers up. Where are they? I don't know what they're doing. Man, we've lost a lot of guys already. All right, I'm gonna have to send these guys this way and then have these guys take this gate and take this gate all right let's have these guys go take this wall over here and this will be our march into the city I think all right now we're attacking them with the walls which is uh, pretty nice let's get our valetes up here let's uh, start throwing some javelins at their archers down here I'm going to get these guys to uh, charge over to this tower. Continue to harass these guys. So we've taken out most of their archers just from the towers and our uh, javelins. We only got 14 left. Alright, let's start uh, marching our guys into the city. I think all they've uh, retreated back into the town square, so we're going to get get our guys into the city all right let's charge out our equites and we're fighting over here with our infantry let's go charge guys and these guys are coming okay we got their general All right, we're taking heavy casualties. We got their general's bodyguard to route. We just got these Peltis left. Okay, so I lost 200 guys. I killed 551. That's actually not bad considering it's a siege with the stone walls, even though I heavily outnumbered them. And uh, I def desperately need money, so I am going to exterminate the population. I gotta strike this army right now. A lot of Peltist, cavalry, some hoplites. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and just take everybody. We should be able to get back into the city. Alright, uh, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna go and hit their left flank over here. And send my infantry out. Maybe something like this. And get my... Let's get my uh, cavalry together. See what they've got coming up here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take my infantry, angle them like this. Let's double time. Cavalry, they're about to charge. Let's go ahead and hit them. Okay, we got them to rout right away. Let's go. Let's hit this group. Go get their peltists. All 
All right, this group is routed. Let's get their cavalry. Charge. We got two light lancers over here. What's going on in the main body? We should be able to hold them off with our javelins. Oh no, they're hitting our flank with their cavalry. Let's uh, let's take our infantry and go get them. I didn't even notice that. I was fo so focused on the uh, left flank, but we should be able to handle them. Let's get our Illyrians to this melee attack. Okay, there we go. We got them to, to route. What's going on with their general? Okay, those lancers are routed. Let's get back. Get back in formation. Uh, their cavalry, we got one to route, but we won't be able to catch them. Let's just form up over here. All right, let's hit these infantry like this. Get them from behind. Let's get our cavalry up here. Oh, don't charge those uh, hoplites, please. Go this way. All right, left flank's going okay. Their archers are charging our Hastadis for some reason. What do we got here? More hoplites. Getting their archers. Okay, these guys are all routed. It's like just one set of hoplites remaining. Just uh, hit them with, you know, from all sides. Oh no, they're attacking our Velites. Okay, those guys are routed. Okay, well, we only lost 102 guys. We killed 1,400. Good victory. Unfortunately, we did not route their whole army. We got another army coming up, but we'll wait. Let's get back into Larissa and retrain everybody. And I am going to grab an archer. It looks like uh, Broody I took Athens. Uh-oh. That's no good. Let's get his, our navy over here and try to blockade Corinth. I don't know if I'll be able to get there. Let's uh, take care of this uh, Numidian army over here in the south first. We're about equal. Let's see what they've got. These desert infantry are pretty good. A lot of skirmishers. And our army is mostly Velites. So this is going to be a tough battle for us. Let's do it. We got this big rock here. Might be to our advantage. Let's uh, move our cavalry over here to the right. Looks like it's just skirmishers. So let's have them double time and see if we can take them out. Let's move our infantry on the left flank. And get our skirmishers out here. Let's get our archers just double time, try to hit them. Okay, looks like they are reinforcing their left flank. I mean, yeah, their left flank, so we're gonna back off. Let's actually go after our left flank here. Yeah, they got skirmishers. They do have their general's bodyguard right here, which is actually good that we can focus on this this flank. Let's get our infantry forward. I think I'm going to send my infantry forward. I'm going to send my missiles forward, and we'll protect our flanks with our cavalry like this. All right, let's get our velites charging and. Get our right flank protected. Send our infantry forward. We're gonna go charge in an organized fashion. What do they got here? This is their javelry javelins. Let's go charge. We gotta keep an eye on them. Make sure we don't follow. We don't pursue. Okay, we're fighting over here. Let's get there general focus on him let's get our cavalry back we 
took care of that. Those javelins. Okay, we are routing. We got them surrounded. What are they doing? We got their general's bodyguard. Oh, we're routing. Let's charge. Everybody charge their general. We got him. So we have a chance. It is time to press the attack. Okay, everyone fall back. Everybody fall back. Oh, we got the general's bodyguards. Let's hit them. Get our infantry lined up. Let's get our velites. See if we can hit this group. Go charge. Get those guys surrounded. Let's go attack this side over here. Let's get these guys. Their morale is low, so. We should be able to win because they've lost their general. Let's get our cavalry to swing around, hit this group of javelins. Actually, no, go for these. Uh, okay, we got them. They're routed. I think they're just almost all routed. All right, we did it, and we only lost 298 guys. Pretty good, uh, considering the, our army was actually pretty weak all right we got a man of the hour that's great yes that's what I wanted haha <laughs> and now we got some money we're gonna build some barracks here we'll rebuild our troops and then send them off to take on this territory out east they're probably gonna send another army pretty soon let's go ahead and retrain up we're gonna have to low taxes here because <laughs> There's nobody here, unfortunate. All right, we got another army over here to take on from Numidia. A couple of archers and a bunch of desert infantry, one Numidian cavalry. So we definitely have the mobility advantage because we have a lot of cavalry in this army. Let's get our uh, infantry cavalry on the left flank. Actually, you know, they're coming. Are they coming after us? We might want to hit both flanks instead of just focusing on one flank. Let's do that. They're coming. Let's go ahead and just charge uh, out with our missiles first. Then hit them with the left flank. Double time. Get our right flank moving. Double time. Get our general up here. What do they got here? Desert infantry. Everyone double time since they're going to be... We're in their missile range. Let's hit the, their flank right away. Let's get our infantry charging. Double time. Get their right flank. I mean, our right flank. Let's get our general forward. Just an all out charge. When they have missile superiority, I think I need to be aggressive. Let's go after their general unit. Is 
All right, another victory. And we get a command star for Pupilius. Good, good. Let's go ahead and take on uh, their capital. Build some rams. Nice. I'm going to get this navy over here to uh, pick them up and hit Palmer after they take on the Numidian capital. Looks like these war bands recruit, retreated up north and now they are sneaking another army to the south. Yeah, let's go put them on the bridge here, see if they attack me. And let's take on this Macedonian army. They retreated. Of course. What do we got? Cavalry. They got ballistas. Some Macedonian cavalry. Wow, those guys are good. Go fight them. Alright, of course they got a massive hill. Oh, interesting. The broody eye. Let's hope they get slaughtered. <laughs> I don't think they have too much. Pretty weak. Hastadis. Just three Hastadis. Alright, looks like they're coming after us with a group of light lancers. Let's go and charge. They should route pretty quickly. Oh, here they come with their more. Let's get our. Let's help out our infantry. Oh, they hit us. Pretty good. Okay, these guys are routed. Broody I are fighting over here. I'm not going to interfere. I'm going to let them fight. They are coming after us, so let's just uh, make sure these guys route. All right, we got him. Pretty eye did it actually pretty decently. Let's get him with our Illyrians. Oh, they got their ballistas. Let's take them out. All right, everybody charge. Let's just get this last group. Well, we took some heavy casualties. I think most of those were the Broody Eye, but uh, we, we also took some casualties, so it's not the greatest. Okay, I'm going to march uh, Gaius out east a little bit. We'll go ahead and build a watchtower here. Get uh, some reinforcements on the way. I don't know if I need to worry about Dacia. I don't have much. I don't have any cavalry here. I should send a couple cavalry back into Dacia. Let's get a cavalry here in Capua and Padavium as well. And those that should be enough to handle Dacia. I'll pick this guy up next turn. I'm going to send this archer out to reinforce the, well, after the invasion. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. All right, looks like uh, Dacia is attacking me on the bridge crossing, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. Might even get another man of the hour. Looks like those warbands came back and attacked me up north, too. I just saw that. All right, we're in position. Just got to wait for them to start crossing. Should be a pretty easy victory. All right, they do have some archers, which they're able to hit me. Let's uh, back off. Boy, we're taking a lot of losses there from those archers. But not much I can do about it, I don't think. Oh, wow, they do have quite the range, don't they? Well, they're routed already. Let's go ahead and just charge. We got them surrounded, so that should be a huge advantage. Wrong 
All right, we just lost 110. That wasn't too bad, but not great. Okay, looks like uh, we should be able to complete this mission to blockade Corinth. That's good. I'm not sure why they left their army out. It looks like they marched out west here, and they're going to be fighting the Broody Eye, which is hot. I love that. Love that. All right, those warband decided to come back, so let's hit those warband. And of course, they routed. Ah, we can't hit them this turn. Well, maybe we can. Let's get our Hastati. Hit this army, and we should have our reinforcements. So, just three warband. We should be able to control all the reinforcements. Alright, I got my reinforcements. I'm gonna wait for them to get on the field. We're gonna have to merge our guys up, I think. Let's get this guy marching out towards the reinforcements. Let's send our uh, skirmishers up ahead a little bit. Alright, let's send our mercenary, our uh, skirmishers forward. Start attacking their uh, war bands. It's double time. Let's get these guys over here to attack. Go charge. All right, we got them to route. Let's get these guys back up here. Charge. Wish I had cavalry. All right, let's attack their last unit with our Illyrians. Well, I lost 21 guys, but I killed 393. I don't know if it's enough to route them, though. Nope, they're getting away. Let's go have Gaius march on Blyzora. Let's build another watchtower. And get our reinforcements with him as well. Yeah, let's get this guy to reinforce Gaius as well. And I'm going to have this army go reinforce our Dacia campaign. We got another Equites, which will help out with Dacia as well. And over here. Alright, let's uh, attack uh, Serta over here. We've got some rams. They've got wooden walls. And just the general's bodyguards and some desert infantry. Let's go. And there's no one uh, resisting us at the wall. They're just in the town center. All right, let's get this infantry over here. Followed by archers. And slingers. And velites. Let's go get our general in here as well. And all of our equites. All right, we've taken both gates. We're going to surround them. All right, let's see if we can sneak these Hastatis past. Let's don't go in the square. Go this way, double time. Let's get our prince base marching up too. Good. Okay, they are moving out. Let's get our archers to charge. Get our equites up and our generals up. Let's go ahead and charge these guys out. And get all of our cavalry to charge their generals' bodyguards. And get these two prince bays to charge as well. Let's go! Now that was a poor time to tack. He's 
These guys are just way over here, way out of the fight. All right, they're routing, and we got it. The gods be praised. We won the battle. The enemy's okay, we only lost 114. Not too bad. But let's just go ahead and enslave them. And uh, we got a Carthaginian turncoat. Let's go ahead and get a ship right here. Help out our economy. We'll get these ships out and we'll retrain them. And let's grab a peasant just for public order. And then next turn we'll march out and uh, try to hit Carthage in their final city. Let's go look and see if we can find Numidia's other armies. See if they're marching out east. Alright, with that I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.